So you've signed up for guardian summaries to get sent to you. You gave the, your child's teacher your email address. They connected it. You followed that email through. You set it up for weekly or daily like you needed to from the last video. Now you're waiting for something to show up in your inbox. Let me show you an example of that so you know what to expect. This is a sample email summary. And this is what's going on for Felix in August of 2016. He's missing these two assignments. This was due the 26th, that was due the 27th. Maybe Felix was out sick. Maybe he was busy with something else. Maybe he's just goofing off. This gives you a place to start asking some questions. You can go to Felix and say, what happened in history? You had this due, where is it? Felix can log into his classroom account and find that assignment. Maybe you just needed to finish it. Maybe he just didn't submit it. Maybe he didn't do it at all. But this lets you ask a real question. Instead of saying, what happened? You can say, here's this assignment. It says it's missing. Show me where it was. And you can get to the bottom of it. If you need to ask the teachers more questions, now you know which teacher and what assignment and what day it was and on the student's end, what they think happened. Same thing with English and American literature, where he's missing this about the Harlem Renaissance, you get to ask Felix what happened here. You can also see, after you figure out last week's information, what's happening next week. And you can start talking about these reading questions and this aquarium project and, and ask how the process is going and if there's anything you need to do. And it opens that line of communication so that instead of asking your child, what'd you do in school today? And hearing nothing, you can say, I know you're doing something. This is an upcoming assignment. Tell me more about it. And that can open that, av that road of communication. Here's what happened last week for Kristen. They had these three assignments. Anthony had these assignments. Michelle had these. Here's what's happening. Notice what we're not seeing. You don't have a link to get in and do your child's work. You don't have a way to see anybody's grades and you can't see who else is in the class. If you need to see their grades, you wanna sign in to the management system that your school uses. For us, that's PowerSchool. That's where you're gonna see your child's grades, not Google Classroom. You're not gonna see and be able to do their work for them, which is important because we wanna teach our students some integrity and we want them to be doing their own work at every opportunity, every day, every class. So this is an example of a student email summary and what it should look like. You're gonna see missing work, upcoming work, and any announcements that the teacher has made. If you need more information, please then contact your teacher, your child's teacher, and, and make those requests known and, and get that information. Hopefully this gives you a sense of what you signed up for. We look forward to interacting with you and, and keeping you in the loop so that we all are on the same page and that your child can be successful. Thanks for watching. Thanks for signing up. We'll see you on the next video showing you around in some other feature.